Hey everybody, I am talking to you about Ranunculus repens or Creeping Buttercup. It has these beautiful yellow flowers and it travels by these stolons and uh, you find it everywhere. It's non-native from Europe, um, <clears throat> parts of Africa and Asia and it is a low growing perennial. You usually find it by creeks. So I'm going to show you a big, big bit of it near my creek. Um, it's toxic to grazing animals and can cause salva salivation, um, skin irritation, blisters, diarrhea, inflammation. Really not good in your field. So if you have some livestock, you might want to get that out of there. Definitely difficult to get rid of. People often spray it and it has absolutely no effect because it's really a very difficult one. <clears throat> uh, in my landscaping, I've always just dug it out and known that I'm going to be back to get more of it later because it really just takes off. It has those beautiful flowers, but it's an awful weed. Um, it is used medicinally in a poultice. It is the chewed leaves, which, you know, obviously I'm not going to chew them if they're bad for livestock. I don't want them, but um, <clears throat> it's good for treatment of sore muscles and aches and pains and rheumatic pains. So there are some health benefits to it, but overall the creeping buttercup or also known as a creeping crowfoot or sit fast. If you can dig it out, that is your best bet. Another noxious weed. They're everywhere. Have a good day. Ranunculus repens. All right, get a hold of this. It is on both sides of the creek over there all throughout it and this entire embankment is covered in it i've got my work cut out for me ranunculus repens